He was a fifth place finisher at this year's European Championship. And when you look at the body type of Golstian, it's his length, that tall, slender build, which is unique in this sport, in this form, but it certainly can be advantage with those long arms. And it's been very challenging for his opponent today to figure him out because he has the height advantage. So what's the approach? When you have a guy like this that has that lanky figure that you're not used to seeing, how do you crack his defense? Is there a feeling out period early on in this bout? So what I've seen today is, is people being bulldozing him out of, out of the uh, mat, but he's been keep coming back, has great balance, great understanding of wrestling, and he's just been able to, to get points on, on the board today. It's another technique he's been very, very successful with today, like the drag, using his length, pull the, the opponent, and then get at the back. He's done it several times today. Looking for the lift here, applying pressure with the shoulder, but Marian is very good at defending, keeping movement on the mat, applying pressure on his grip. So he talked about the bulldozer, and it's all about leverage right now. If you're the Russian, as you try to get low, get that leverage and use the height of the Armenian to his disadvantage then. Yeah, get the, get get under him and then be able to push him out. But this is one of the, the things the Armenian has been very successful with, applying that pressure, counter pressure, and then get on the back. So what would usually work is not working against the Armenian. He's very, very skilled, very talented, very good ba balance and, and wrestling understanding. Um, He's working that Russian tie for a moment. He had the two on one. Marianian able to clear out that arm now. Here goes Golstian right back to it. Talk about the run by Marianian of Russia. 27 years old, a, a two time European Games champion. Just hasn't been a tournament in the calendar years of 18 and 19 that he hasn't won. He's been that dominant. And he has been very dominant today as well. It's a creative style from Russia with Marianian. He usually gives spectators a price of admission with his offense and the way he dials up some of his offense and moves throughout the course of a six minute bout. Trying to figure out the Armenian Slavik Golstian. Seems like he's really having a challenge here figuring out how to wrestle a guy this tall. And we saw this, not necessarily this particular head-to-head, -head, but we saw it with the Armenian at the European Championships where it took four or five minutes before a wrestler finally figured out how to crack this, this leverage issue that Golstian currently has. Now, they were able to figure it out late as evident by his fifth play showing, but still it took a while. And he has this two on one, very content to work on that, eat some clock, and that's what he's doing. So a perfect script in that first period for Slavik Golstian, a two nothing lead over the reigning world champion. Amazing performance that he's really been successful in taking the speed out of the match by doing this two arm under on the same arm all the time, which will be very, is one of the drags he's been doing all day. It's beautiful executed technique. He gets on the back and gets the two points. That was the only offense in the first period. So let's go inside the Russian Federation corner. What adjustments do you anticipate for Marianian coming out in the second period? I think he'll be looking to adjust, not giving his left arm away. See Golstian going for the Russian's left arm, the two arm under, trying to control the speed of the match. And as we see now, the Russian is turning up the pace a bit, looking to get points on the scoreboard. Golstian just continues to take away any offensive possibility. He has that two-on-one, not necessarily so much as an offensive maneuver, although he can certainly work a lot of different ways with it, but it just slows this match down to the pace that he wants against Russia. 
And what we see right now is a lot of hand fighting. It's hard to tell from where we see it, but the, the guys are using a lot of power doing this hand fighting. So just as we describe what Armenia was doing, no surprise to hear the whistle there and the point. So they will give the reigning world champion a chance to work on top in parterre. Look at that tall frame, just plotted out flat against that mat. A lot of body parts to pick here, and he goes with the wrench, and he and will he lever him them. over. He'll get the lead, grab the two. Russia, for the first time, goes on top, 3-2, and the whistle stops the action. Wow. And you can really see the, the length of the Armenian here. But Marian's still able to get the turn, get the points. Marianyan, by the way, is one of four European champions wrestling tonight in this first night of competition. First continental championships, always a great measuring stick. Turn up the pace, high pressure, looking for ways to score. Looking for an underhook. Balstian is so young, he's 22 years old. And he can just watch the maturity with each passing event with this young man and the confidence level continuing to rise. Really applying pressure here on the Russian. Inside a minute, final period. Marianyan with a 3-2 lead for Russia. Taking advantage of the parterre in this second period. That's been the difference. <laughs> Trying to get the underhook, slithers that right arm for a moment into position, but Marianyan wisely, like a veteran he is and a champion, gets it out of harm's way, sitting in a pretty good position, up a point, down to 10 seconds to go. It's now or never for Galstian, and it just doesn't look like he's going to have it in the tank. A youngster who comes up just short, and Russia, who dominated the Greco-Roman title last year, running away from the field, in the second weight class as a wrestler into the finals tomorrow night. Very experienced performance here by the Russian. Winning the bout, three to two, gets a score. Uses his chance. Mm -hmm. I think what we see here is challenge request. The Armenian team. Russia last year won the world championships. They won six of 10 gold medals in route to putting up an eye popping 178 points. <laughs> Just incredible what up numbers. Yeah, and, and you have to recognize Russia as a wrestling nation. Like they are doing amazing, have a lot of, a lot of great wrestlers. There. You see the final score will be 4-2 to two Russia with the challenge. If you lose that challenge, you lose a, you, you give the opponent a point. So that's why the additional point was tacked on. Armenia saw a chance at a challenge. They had nothing to lose. They went to the video replay. It showed nothing different. And Russia back into the gold medal match. the Russian head coach. Stepan Marianyan, one of the most dominant wrestlers in the world when you factor in any style. He needed the parterre, though, in the second period to figure out a way to get past a young Armenian who just keeps climbing up that ladder.